Time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Jack Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over the Salazzle GX in the new standard field. That's right, rotation has happened, VS Seekers are gone, uh, teammates gone, trainers mail gone, there's a lot of friends that are gone, Shaman gone, um, but we are here to stay in standard format for the majority of it. We will probably do the, just like we were in the last season where we hit a few decks that were expanded but for the most part we'll be home to standard anyways uh Salazzle gx is our queen here uh the new stage one fire type 200 hp has that diabolical clause as its first attack it'll do two fire energy for 50 damage times the amount of prizes we've taken it also has heat blast two fire energy it'll do 110 damage so this is our way of kind of knocking out those first few pokemon and try and build up diabolical claws and then you've got Queen's Haze, if your opponent has gotten a little too carried away with maybe a Kiwi, you can use two fire energy, hint hint, all energy attachments are fire. Um, we can discard all of the energies attached to our opponent's Pokemon, so if they've got Ho set up with four energy, we can just go for Queen's Haze and completely start the game fresh once more. Um, now we are running an additional Salazzle. It's the 110 variant. Uh, this one is just for the Hot Poison. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. Now, one thing you could do in this deck is add uh, Scoop Ups. So this way you could do the whole thing one more time. But I have not added them into this deck, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, however, the second attacker for this is going to be Garbodor. Now, Garbodor has lost a bit of steam uh, since VS Seekers and all that have rotated out. Um, you're not seeing as many item cards in decks, but like if you take a look at example for mine, I still have 13 items in this deck. So keep that in mind here when you're doing Garb, that you want to still be able to use it as a secondary attacker, not a primary. Um, so Garbodor here is 120 HP Psychic type, and for those of you who do not know, Trash Lanch is the only attack you're really looking at. For a Psychic Energy, you'll be doing 20 damage times the amount of item cards in your opponent's discard pile, which can scale quite high. Um, the last Pokemon in the deck is Tapu Lele GX, 170 HP. It has that wonderful Wonder Tag ability. Uh, when you play this Pokemon onto your bench, you can search your deck for a supporter card. It is great. has that energy drive attack as well, so if it wants to be like a tertiary attacker, you can do that. Um, I did forget to mention, though, that we do have the uh, Garbotox and Garbodor in this as well. Uh, we only run two Pokemon with abilities, and this is also why I didn't run Scoop Up for the Salazzle, is because it does have an ability. I don't want to be forced to not use this if I don't have to. So I want to be able to get that Garbodor down, be able to shut off my opponent's abilities, especially if they're like... Zoroark or something where they need those abilities a lot to keep their energy or keep their Pokemon flowing nicely. Anyway, on to the trainers. We have the Field Blower. Staple cards pretty much way through now. Uh, field Blower will remove two in combination of tool cards and stadiums, which can help Garbodor in the long run. Uh, we have the Rescue Stretcher. You can put a Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand or shuffle three into your deck. We're running Super Rod because Fire Energy is kind of crucial. I'm running nine. Um, but you never know, sometimes because of these being two energy costs, you may not be able to run enough, so Super Rod is here to get those energies back. Uh, we have those, we have Ultra Balls, pretty staple card, I don't really need to go over Ultra Ball. Uh, we have Scorched Earth, once during your turn, sorry, yeah, once, once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire Fighting Energy and draw two. Um, we have the Bridget, staple card now, uh, search your deck for three basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. Uh, you can't go for EXs, but EXs are very rare nowadays. Um, we have the Guzma, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active, and then you switch your active with one of your bench. And then you have N, each player shuffles their hand back into the deck, draws cards equal to their remaining prize cards. Uh, Sycamore is the final supporter here, you can draw your hand, uh, discard your hand, draw seven. And then we have four choice bands, because we need to get that maximum amount of damage out of that Heat Blast early, because I'll be honest with you, we just don't hit hard enough until late game. And then lastly, we do run the Float Stones, and then as you saw, we did have nine Fire Energies, and we're running four Rainbow, this way we can use the Garbodor uh, for Trash Lanch. And it does help out that we can kind of not be afraid to ditch an Energy to the Scorched Earth if we don't mind losing 10 HP on a Salazzle. Uh, but that is going to be it for the deck. Let me know your thoughts on it. This is something I did see in uh, when I was on the t on the versus ladder, so I wanted to give it a try, see how it worked out. And uh, needless to say, I do know a slight weakness to the deck. 
I want to know if you guys can picture, uh, pick it out though before we manage to get into the uh, to the end credits, and I'll give you guys the explanation of to that when we get there. But anyway, let's get into these matches and see if we can pull off a win. All right, guys. Match number one is against Harima three three two. This might be a bit of a difficult match for us because it is water, um, but we'll see how it goes nonetheless. Uh, they are going to be able to go first here, which is also not great for us because we do need those first few turns, and we only have a slow end date. Oh man! Don't know why I'm yawning. Well, it is early. This is usually the day I start to work uh, at twelve, but. Uh, Needless to say, needless to say, it's not always the best. This actually may not even be a water deck. It probably is because he does have the Alolan uh, Ninetales coin, but we're not looking too great. I'll probably have to sacrifice some few cards here unless I can... Excuse me. I'm still in an alright position because I can Ultra Ball, I can go for uh, Tapu Lele Bridget, I still have Guzma. I just don't have any real ways of getting a whole lot of other things. My opponent does Ultra Ball. Uh, this will get him a Pokemon of his choice. It's just going to be the Alolan Vulpix. Sorry guys, trying to hold in a, a yawn and I have no idea why I'm doing it. Uh, we do see the Vulpix hit the field. And next up, do we see a retreat? No, he probably will not because he can't attack anyway. But the Octillery can evolve. Ooh, we see... Okay, you are definitely running Alolan Ninetales if you're attaching energy to Alolan Vulpix. I'm just saying, you're definitely running it. Uh, so we are going to see our turn hit. Uh, we get another Salandit, which is really good. Uh, we do get an opportunity to drop that. I am going to drop an energy. I'm going to drop an energy onto the back one. I don't want to be uh, feeding the active one. And I am unfortunately going to have to probably ditch my fire and a choice ban. Because I do want to keep this... Um, this Ultra Ball in case I don't get a Salazzle next turn. But we are going to go Tapu Lele here. And uh, see if I can get myself a new card. And by that I mean more basics. I want to get completely set up with this Bridget. I do not want to draw it later. I want to draw it now. Get this opportunity out of the way. And we're going to go. So here comes Bridget. Uh, we're going to go for one Trubbish, two Salandit. And now we've got all four Salandit on the field, ready to go. One of them will probably get knocked out this turn, um, but that's fine. I did not have the energy drop onto the back one. We do see a Tapu Koko, which is a very good supporter for Alolan Ninetales. Uh, this might be the Alolan Ninetales GX, uh, based on the team team play. We're going to see a second energy drop onto that Alolan Vulpix from the Aqua Patch. Does he play an energy support? Sorry, does he play a supporter, not an energy support? He's already played an energy support, being the Aqua Patch. Uh, does drop a double colorless energy to retreat, and he'll probably just go for a beacon here. But if he does that, I might be able to knock him out. Just goes for a beacon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we see Octillery and Ninetales into his hand. I don't have a problem ending those away. Actually, in fact, I just got an end. Um... That's exactly what we're going to play, because I cannot play Tapu Lele. I need a Salazzle. Thank you! But I also ran into the small problem of not being able to switch out. So I can't get rid of this thing. He's actually very safe. Uh, we are going to drop an energy down here. Um, I'm going to hold on to the Salazzle until it evolves. Um, and I can use an energy drop to switch out next turn if I have to. I did not get a float stone, that was the other opportunity. Uh, we are going to see Bridget, uh, Brooklyn Hill. This will get them basic water types as they need them. It means more on tap Alolan Vulpix and Remorates, which is very scary. So we'll see double support in the card draw. Um, probably just trying to get that out of the deck so he doesn't draw it again. And we'll see in just a few moments. He does get that additional energy drop onto that Alolan Vulpix. Uh, this will probably be the best time to Queen's Haze because we'll get rid of all that energy. Uh, we are going to see an N. This is fine. As much as I do miss not getting the Salazzle off, I didn't get it off because I wanted to see that evolution. And we are going to see double garb toxins. 
Uh, so we should be able to set off, uh, turn off the good old Remorades. Well, we also have a Scorched Earth to uh, remove the Brooklyn Hill. Uh, so that is very big for us. Uh, my opponent is playing a lot of item cards uh, in consideration to the game. Uh, there are four, and he does get the Alola Ninetales. Now, I don't think you've, you've end, so you cannot Guzma me right now. Uh, my Salanda will go down here, which is not a problem at all. Uh, you're going to discard one of your water energy, and we will go for the rest of your energy. Because that is the only play I can make. It's the only play I can make. Wait, you did not? How did you 110? I don't even understand. Either way... Scorched Earth. Um, I do not want to sacrifice my cards just yet. We are going to drop this down here. I don't need a Rescue Stretcher yet. Um, it'd be a great idea if I could get another... I'm going to drop Garb down. And I'm going to sacrifice my Rescue Stretcher uh, to get a Salazzle so I don't have to draw that. I'm just kind of drawing to draw, which is very strong here. Uh, we'll get this out. Or do I go for the other one? Hmm. Now that it's poisoned. I can poison burn it, uh, and I can start dealing damage with it. I like that play better. But this will go on to the non-energized uh, Salandit. Yes, let's poison and burn them. So they'll be taking a little bit more damage. Uh, we will end. This will get me a brand new hand. Get me back out of that bad position. And we can shut down abilities here. Uh, we can drop this down for Garbotoxin. Drop this down. And now I'm just going to Queen's Haze. Uh, this will get rid of all of their energy. No more energy for you. This Alola Ninetales is going to be taking 30. And do you flip the tails? You do, so you stay burned. Which is absolutely wonderful. That means more damage down to you. This Alolan Vulpix has taken a big hit, losing all of that energy, and now being poison burned, and soon to be um, hit by some hits. Now, poison will rack up if they cannot get it out of the active position. And they do not have the use of abilities from Octillery, so the draw engine will be down. No more Tapu Leles if they do use them. I didn't see Psychic in their uh, roster, though, so I don't think they've got them. Um, but we're looking okay so far. I can garb and drop the rainbow energy down next to him, uh, and he's still got what? Four, uh, so four, five, and uh, four, five of them in here. You're just gonna. You have free retreat? No, you dropped an energy. You dropped an. Oh, Guzma. You Guzmud. Okay, that's fine. Uh, puzzle of time, just one? Or two? I don't know what that referred to. We'll see what it means in just a few moments. Puzzle of Time is a huge card nowadays in Standard. does bring back two cards, um, being the Brooklet Hill and the uh, Double Colorless Energy. If he drops the Double Colorless Energy here, that's fine, because he actually did bring me into my uh, Floatstone Garbodor. I don't know why, because I could just get out of here. Unless he did get the Field Blower. Then I'd be stuck. Then I'll be stuck. But Double Colors comes down, you're at the perfect energy where I can just knock you out with Salazzle, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, we are going to remove your good old Brooklyn Hill once more. You can't have it. No, 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 no. Uh, Garbodor comes in. We'll drop another energy down onto our Salandit. Ooh! I meant to go for the rainbow on the Garb. My bad. Uh, we are going to retreat into Salazzle. And this should take out this good old-fashioned Tapu Koko. You got a little bit of spread damage down, I admit. And currently we are looking okay. Not amazing by any means. Not amazing by any means. Uh, but we do have an N in case they do want a beacon here. One water energy drop onto the Ninetales in the back. Drops the Floatstone down and Sycamores. My opponent is looking for a way to get back into this game which I can 100% understand, does just beacon. We will be ending next turn. Kind of glad I saved it. It did not go for stuff. 
Still trying to get those rumor aids. Or those auxiliaries. Oh. I might want to do that. Because he just went for auxiliaries. Uh, we'll drop a nice rainbow energy down onto you. And I'm going to Guzma up that Alolan Ninetales. I do not want anything trying to set up. If I can get away with it, I will. Uh, we retreat into the Salazzle. And here we go. Dub, uh, Heat Blast will hit for 110. Means we can knock it out on the following turn. It cannot go for a Blizzard's Edge now that it is in the active position. It should not get Aqua Patch help. And uh, thankfully... Uh, Ice Blade will only hit me for 100, so I'm not going to get knocked out too quickly. Uh, but now the army of Alolan Ninetales is hit. Now the army of Alolan Ninetales and Octillery have all hit, which is fine, because I'm in an okay position. Not the best, not the best, but I'm in... You got rid of my rainbow energy. Well, that's kind of cruel, but you used up another item card, which is fine by me. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you are going to be Garbodor bait, as far as I'm concerned. So you can go for the Ice Blade here, which is fine. Uh, N is beautiful for me. I got double Tapus, not really that great there. I got Choice Band, which means I can hit harder now. I'm going to probably sacrifice my two Leles for another Salazzle, so that I can start hitting these things a little harder. Because I need to one-shot them soon. Actually, it'd be better to put on the garb so that I can guarantee to hit 210. Because right now I'm hitting 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180. So 210 if I can hit with the garb. Okay, so that's the best play. Best play is to drop that down here. Um, how'd you heal? How did you heal? What did I miss? Oh, you put it all onto me. Beautiful, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot all about that. This is a tough match. I'm not gonna deny it. A tough match! We have weakness against us too, that's a bigger problem. Uh, we have now got a second Salazzle up. I need a Rainbow Energy. How many of them have I lost? Just the one? Just the one. So there are three more in the deck, potentially, somewhere along the seas. I don't have a choice. I gotta go for that Heat Blast. We hit for another 110. Now he can't heal anymore. Um, I did miss that, by the way. I forgot all about... Like, I know a vice path moving all the damage counters. I just didn't... It did not trigger in my brain that it could do that and heal. Somewhat, I forgot about that. Alright, so we see a water energy down. I, can, I cannot top Ulele, so I am stuck in my hand right now. Uh, my opponent just ice blades to knock out my... Uh, Salandit, or Salazzle, which is fine. I'm going to come into my other Salandit, we get a Sycamore, which actually might be my best play. Sorry guys, well let's hold off, just how many Gazmas do I still have? I have not lost any, I can, I can sacrifice one. I can sacrifice one. And I got my Rainbow Energy, um, drop this down here. So unfortunately this garb has taken a lot of damage, uh, but Heat Blast will knock this thing out and tie up this match a little bit. Just a little though. Okay, uh, Field Blower is not going to be us doing too much for us, but what he does not see is we can eliminate him. Does drop another or energy drop, he'll go for the knockout here, but he'll have no energy on the board, and I don't think he realizes that my garb can take him out. Blizzard Edge does take me out, not a problem. 
does drop the double color list, which is fine. And takes down to one prize card. Now, he just needs to bring something in to knock me out. But I've still got a little bit of energy left over. And we are going to get rid of your float stone. Boom. Get rid of that. I'm going to drop you down to one card. But I don't want to use the energy just yet. Yes. I do not need to go for too much here. I got an N and another Trubbish. That's not going to help me out. But Trash Lanch will knock you out here. And we're in okay. This might be close. This might be close. Uh, Rainbow Energy and a Salazzle. So I, I don't have the ability to get another attacker right now. So if he takes out my garb, I'm in trouble. If I lose my garb, he's in trouble. But it is down to a 1v1 prize, which I consider pretty good. Um, he can't attack me unless he draws a double colorless energy. And that is the game! The end into the garb was a beautiful play because we were able to take the win um, against Alolan Ninetales. We limited our re opponent's resources. They had no energy on the bench. We took advantage of that. Garb came in, took it out, and we know that Garbodor can easily take out this next Alola Ninetales. So even if it did get the next um, double colorless energy, it couldn't take us out because it only does 50. I still had 60 HP. So I would have survived. Garb would have taken him out. We would have won that match regardless. So that is going to be match number one. What a turnout for that one. But I think we did okay think we did okay we were saved by the garb but let's see if match number two goes as smoothly or just as risky as this one because this one was not smooth this one was kind of bumpy all right guys match number two is here against Vitonin playing what looks to be a grass deck we might have a bit more of an advantage against this one versus that Alola Ninetales we just had previously um, so we are gonna see he's got that good old uh, Yveltal coin we're gonna see it get flipped in just a moment here and he loses the coin toss, oh sorry, we lose the coin toss, so Vitonin will be able to play first if he wants. And we start with a Salandit. Our opponent does not get any basics, so that is really good for us. Uh, we will be able to utilize that and potentially get a card that we need, maybe a Tapu Lele, a Bridget, so we won't have to Ultra Ball for those cards. Okay, so we are playing some sort of Solgaleo deck. Alright, so Solgaleo it is. We'll see how Solgaleo does now in post-rotation. Uh, it doesn't change too much. But I have not seen too much Solgaleo in the last little while. This looks like it's still Solgaleo Lorantis, which could be kind of slow. Without uh, Forest of Giant Plants and... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit. But we do kind of have a nice counter to this, being Salazzle. Um, yes, to the rest. We'll grab two. We get Choice Band and Floatstone. Uh, it's going to be a Rayquaza lead as well. So he's got tons of energy mitigate or like energy resources here, which is huge. Unfortunately, I can't knock this thing out early. Uh, but he can't knock. No, he can knock me out. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't. I really don't. Uh, and I don't want to get rid of the items that I've got. So we'll see what the last card I pull is. My opponent is grabbing a Tapu Lele. This will get him Bridget to Cosmog and future, uh, future Fomantis. Actually, he goes for an N. Okay. Not the item I was expecting. Choice Band, Steel Energy, and we see a Rescue Stretcher for Solgaleo. Back into the deck. Okay, goes for an N. He has nothing in hand. My hand gets completely changed, so all those plans are gone. I was not expecting a uh, N play right there, but we've legit got what we want. We got what we want. I'll go Tapu Lele into Bridget, get the nice big three starting mons up. I'll put all the stuff on the back mons so this Rayquaza doesn't get an opportunity to hit me because it can knock me out. Uh, Max Elixir. Ooh, that's not what you want to play here. He's already played four items. And I'm running Garb. I'm running Garb. Alright, so we have a Salazzle, so I don't need an Ultra Ball for that, which is really good to know. Really good to know. Uh, let us let us drop Tapu Lele down. Yes, please. Let's grab Bridget. Thankfully, she's there. 
I always get scared when I don't see her then it's like, uh oh, we're, we're in for a game. So Bridget gets played, uh, one Trubbish, two Salandit, boom, field looking pretty nice. And then we've got the opportunity to go for another Tapu Lele drop, uh, I just want to drop these down here. Because I feel like he's going to knock me out. I feel like he'll knock me out here. Now if he goes just for the energy, uh, the Turbo Storm, uh, which he has no basics in the discard pile yet, so it's not accelerating anything. Um, he's not going anywhere. I counter Scizor, er, Scizor? I counter, uh, Solgaleo. I'm gonna pass for here. And we'll see how well this next few turns go. Because again, he's got four four items in the discard. If I can get rid of that choice man, that would be huge. Um, we've only got one card so far. He is just going to retreat into the Fomantis. Uh, we're going to see another Max Elixir. He is looking to get those energies out. Drops the Steel Energy down onto the Rayquaza, uh, and he goes for another one, which just is—it's just telling me to go Garb. It is telling me to go Garb. We see a Sycamore. Did he get rid of any more items? A rare candy goes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are doing 140 damage. Um, Lorantis is up. It can go for the good old flower supply, but again, we're just attaching energy. We're not doing much. Maybe I should have attached to the active. I would have knocked this thing out. That's okay. Maybe we'll get a floatstone. We are not getting a floatstone. Um. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this, uh, this good old. Do I make that bad play and just go for that turbo, like eliminate Turbo Storm right off the bat, or what do I do here? Because I can Guzma. Keep the end in hand and Guzma. No, I can't. What am I talking about? I'm gonna have to. I. Best play is just to end. Because I could have Guzma this turn and waited, but I don't want to... I'm okay. I got a Floatstone. I'm, I'm in beautiful shape. This is actually better. This is actually better. Okay, Floatstone down onto the Salandit. This Salandit will be our Poison Burn one, because uh, it is already damaged up pretty good. I don't want to play that Garb yet. Uh, we got Rainbow Energy in hand. I can go for a Heat Blast, knock this guy out. It'll be fine and dandy. That'll be 280 damage. We're going to take two prizes. Salazzle and Fire Energy, which means our second energy... Or sorry, our second Salazzle can be starting to set up. Um, he's got a lot of energy port, like energy grab, but nothing else to go with this. And if he comes in on Solgaleo, I have that opportunity to just knock it out. Which is absolutely wonderful. Because I have Guzma. And I have Floatstone. So I'm really good. I'm in a good position. And he still has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items in discard. Okay. So he goes for another rescue stretcher. Again, Garb is looking like our best opportunity here. Because, oh, Choice Band onto that Cosmo. And it's fine. Well, it's not fine. It's a terrible play, actually. Uh, terrible for us because we only get four, he'll get six, but we kind of get what we want? Kind of? I'll just sick him more here. I do lose a lot of resources. You just uh, played another... Buddy, look at all the item cards. I'm going to drop this choice band down onto this Trubbish. Uh, Trubbish has got to be our main win condition at this point in the game, and we're just going to take 30, or sorry, 60 because of the choice band. Um... Okay. We get a rainbow. Oh, man. We get rainbow energy for Trubbish. Choice band for Trubbish. And my play is to Sycamore, because I don't want him to get any more cards. I did not get what I was after. But we are going to get a Salazzle. We'll put it onto this one here. Uh, Trubbish one more time. We can put you up. And, uh... I can't knock this guy out. That is a big problem. But I can at least severely damage it. Do 
Do you have free retreat? No, you need one. I have no energy for the Salazzle yet. If he evolves into Solgaleo, he'll want to run his energy count up, doesn't he? Just Queen's Haze? I'll get rid of a bunch of energy. I don't know if that was the best play, actually, because if he does get a double colorless energy drop, he can just bring two of them back. And I'm still not able to take this thing out. Out comes Solgaleo, though. He does just drop an energy onto it, and he will pass the turn. This is huge, because I can hit this thing and knock it out in one shot. So, my opponent did not play a great play. Oh, he has Ultra Road. Duh! Ultra Road's in. And do you do... You do 230. You're gonna knock me out. 100%. 100%. Do you, you resist Psychic? Of course you resist Psychic. So, you're not worried about Garb. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180. I do 210 minus the 20, so I do 190. You're gonna go for a field blower. Uh, this is 210 here. But if I get a field blower right now, I can get rid of. I can actually hit, knock this thing out with Garb. While setting up Salazzle in the back. So Sunsteel Strike does happen, unfortunately. Now he is going to be gaining two prizes here and tying this game. Oh, right, you lose all your energy. We're just going to put Salando up in the front for now. Um, Guzma's not a strong card here. Because he has the Ultra Road. So I'm going to probably Sycamore. I want to get that Field Blower. If I can get Field Blower, I guarantee Knockout. I do not think I knock out right now before Field Blower. I want to go put some Pokemon back into the deck. I uh, grab two of you and a Solandit. Solandit? Yeah, Solandit. So we can get the other one on, on point. And then we'll just Sycamore. Field Bloa. Nothing. No Field Blower at all. Not at all. That's not good. Oh man, I think I'm, I think I'm right under. So we do what? That's one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. So it's two hundred. One eighty. I don't do enough. I do not do enough. Now he needs a turn to sit up anyway, so I'm just going to leave my flow stoner up here right now. I've sycamored already. I can guess my next turn. Uh, Skyla would probably be a fantastic addition to this deck. If he plays like Guzma, who are you bringing up? Salazzle? And who are you bringing in? That's fine. Double colorless energy, uh, so he can turbocharge. If I can get a fire energy, I can knock out that Solgaleo. And that is his only attacker. I got Field Blower now. Oh man, that's that's perfect. Okay, so we will go with the Field Blower. We're going to knock out these two. No more choice bands for you. Get rid of those. Uh, Tapu Lele should be able to get us into a... Uh, yes. Uh, Guzma knew exactly what we wanted. I want to get rid of that Solgaleo. That's really what I want to do. Take it out ASAP. I want to double the math before I do this. So, one... I, I know I've counted this like a hundred times. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's 240. 270, and it's a resistance of 20. 
So I think I hit for 250 with garb. With garb. And then once I get rid of this, it's, it's smooth sailings. Yes! Okay, we need a fire energy off of this. We hit for exactly 250. Got a fire energy! We are looking so good right now. Because he, I can just go for Tapu Lele, uh, and I can go for my good old Diabolical Claws at this point, and we can win this game. So if he wants to knock out my Garbodor, that's fine. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily need it, but I have Guzma in hand now, so I can just go right into Salandit, knock out that Tapu Lele, and we will have claimed another game with uh, Salandit Garb. Uh, drops energy down onto the Cosmog. He may not see this play just yet. Garb just just annihilated his own Solgaleo. Turbo Storm goes through. It will hit me for thirty, and uh, yeah, his only his only way of not losing this is to yeah he doesn't have a way of losing not losing. I think we've got him. I think we've got him. So fire energy. His only way of winning that would have been to end me out. Uh, but we are gonna go for that Tapu Lele. I hit for two hundred damage now off of Diabolical Claws, and that'll be two hundred thirty with Choice Band. So that is going to be today's matches. What a turnout for Salandit Garb. It is such a powerhouse. Now, I did mention at the start of the video there is a weakness to this deck. And that is both Pokemon are late game sweepers. Salandit doesn't do a whole lot of damage until late game. Garbodor doesn't do a whole lot of damage to late game. Now, both of these matches are kind of weird because a lot of, again, I, People should not be running the amount of item cards they did. I should not have been able to scale to Solgaleo level with Garb. There's, there's no way. With the resistance even, I one-shot the Gar uh, Solgaleo. There's no way that people are still running it like that. But you know what? It is what it is. We got a lucky game in here. Um, this deck is still pretty... I'd say this one in particular is like a semi-par deck. It's not It's not going to be world competition or anything like that. It's a fun little deck to play. If you guys want to try somebody else with Salazzle, maybe Lorantis. Uh, or maybe somebody who is like an early game hitter. Maybe go Espeon Slazzle. That'd be kind of cool. Because that way you'd have the early game set up. And then Slazzle can do stuff in the back. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on Slazzle GX. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are brand new here, please hit that subscribe button. It does mean the world to me that you guys come out and watch the videos on the regular. But... I'm going to get myself out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.